<laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's video where we'll be looking at travel graphs. And uh, before we start solving this question, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So this is the graph we are given. And um, this is the movement. It shows the movement of an object which accelerates uniformly for two seconds until it reaches the speed of 10 meters per second. Then it moves at this speed, uh, which is constant speed, for the next eight seconds. Eight seconds, so two plus eight is this 10. Then it accelerates or decelerates. It reduces uh, the speed to zero here in the next five seconds. All right. So. The first question, of course, is asking us to calculate the retardation here, the retardation in the last five seconds. OK. So to find the retardation, we are going to use this formula. OK. This is negative acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time taken. OK. We have this one. The final velocity is when this an object is not moving. So it moves from 10 coming down to 0. So this is initial and this is, this is the final velocity according to what is here. So final velocity is 0. Initial velocity was 10 over time taken, which is 5 seconds. Okay, negative acceleration is equal to 0 minus 10 is negative 10. Negative 10 divided by 5 is equal to negative 2. Negative 2. Then you divide by negative, this negative, which is here, negative, negative. Therefore, acceleration will be just 2 meters per second squared. So this is our deceleration. 2 meters per second squared, or negative acceleration, 2 meters per uh, second squared. So this is it. The second question is asking us to calculate the distance traveled in the first 10 seconds. In the first 10 seconds, so from here. If you look at the shape, you have two shapes here. You have a triangle and a rectangle. Or you can just use the formula for a trapezium. So let's use the formula for trapezium. So we are asked, in short, we are, have to calculate this uh, area here. So to find the distance covered, it will, this is B, it will be distance is equal to half A plus B H. OK? Half A is the base from 0 to 10. This was asked in the 10 seconds. 0 to 10. Uh, let's, this, let's call this one as our A, and then our B is this top part. So our A is 10. Our B is from 2 to 10. is just 10 minus 2, which is just 8. Then our H, which is the height, is also 10. OK? Then half of 10 is 5. 10 plus 8 is 18. Then we have 5 outside. Then 5 times um, 18, 5 times 8 is 40, 0 carry 4. 5 times 1 is 5 times uh, plus 4 is 9. So this is 90 meters. When you calculate the distance, is 19, 90 meters. OK, it's the same as when you add here, it will be 18, the same 18. Then half of 18, 9, 9 times 10, 19. Then C. We are asked to find the average speed for the whole journey. Remember, the average speed is calculated by using this formula. Average speed is equal to distance covered over total time uh, taken. Now, do we know the total distance covered? No. Do you know the total time taken? Yes, it's 15 seconds. So we need to calculate the total distance traveled. So the easiest, the easier way we can, uh, or the easiest way we can calculate here, we can use the trapezium. 
uh, to find the whole distance, or we can just calculate the distance of the last part, this triangle, then add it to this distance we've covered here to come up with the total distance. So let's just find the distance of that triangle. Okay, so it will be half BH, half B from 10 to 15 is 5, then height is still be ten, will still be 10, half of 10 is 5, 5 times 5, 25 meters. Uh, 25 meters plus 90 to come up with the total distance. 90, 25 plus 90, this is 115 uh, meters. This is the total distance uh, traveled. Total distance traveled by the by an object by the object. Then let's find the, the average speed. Therefore, the average speed. Uh, average speed is distance covered which is 115 meters over the time taken which is 15 seconds or you can put the units at the end it's okay if you are if you're confused so now we have 15 okay how many times does 15 go into 115 now uh, if you look at this 15, you can reduce it if you don't know exactly how many times this 15 can go into, uh, into 115. F 5 into 15, 3. 5 into 11 is 2 times remainder 1. Then 5 into 15, 3. So we have 23 over 3 here. Okay, I mean, f 3, um, 5 into five into 11, 2 times remainder 1, and 5, okay, we are right. So we have 23 over 3, 23 over 3. Then how many times does 3 go into 23? It goes there 7 times, 7 times, it goes into 21 7 times. Then 21.23, so a remainder 2 over 3 meters per second. This is the average, this is the average speed for the whole journey. That's why it's even 3 marks because we are not going, we are not just finding direct, I mean, direct here uh, as uh, you're not going direct to find the average speed, but first we have to find the distance, total distance covered, then we substitute it to uh, up to here. Then, when here, you can also leave your answer as negative 2 meters per second squared, but as long as we've shown here that it's negative acceleration, it's fine. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let's meet in the next video. Remember to subscribe and like the video. Thank you.